So the topic at hand is when should you begin to aggressively pay down your mortgage? Hi, I'm Andy Mulholland with the Handy Andy Real Estate Experts, and today we've got another topic to discuss in our video blog. Uh, but before we do, I do want to point you to a couple links on our website. Uh, one is the free home value report link here on the blog, uh, where you'll be able to find out what potentially your home might be worth in today's market. And then the second link is where you're going to be able to search all homes for sale, and that's going to give you a direct link to all the listings that are for sale from all the different companies that are out there. It is a direct feed from our MLS, so we're going to be able to get you the most up-to-date information. This is the stuff that us agents see so that you know you're getting the most accurate info. Okay, so the topic at hand is when should you begin to aggressively pay down your mortgage? And a lot of people will ask us, you know, Andy, I've been in my home for a while. I feel like I need to start paying down my mortgage. Well, it doesn't always make sense to do that. Of course, paying down a mortgage is a good thing, but then we've got to make sure some other things are in place. I'm a big Dave Ramsey fan, okay? And so uh, Dave Ramsey's philosophy is that we've got to pay down and do what we call a debt snowball and pay down our debts. And it's not in order of, you know, uh, it's not in order of, uh, highest to lowest debt. It's not in order of you know highest to lowest interest rate. It's in order of lowest smallest debt to the highest. And oftentimes the highest is your mortgage. So there may be other things we should pay off first and snowball the payments into the mortgage. So for example, if you have a $500 credit card, a $10,000 car loan, a $100,000 student loan, and a $500,000 mortgage, we shouldn't start paying off the $500,000 mortgage until we start paying off those other items. So we start with the beginning and pay off that credit card, then apply the payment we had been paying to that, to the car loan of $10,000 until we've paid that off, and then to the student loan of $100,000. By the time we get to the mortgage, we've got lots of money being applied towards that, and you may even be able to be in a position where you can add more. But here's what we suggest that you do, is first you pay off all those credit cards, but you've got also got to build up an emergency fund. Okay, before you start paying off your mortgage, Build up an emergency fund. Six months worth of reserves is what we suggest. Um, that's just a really important part of this process. If you don't have that emergency fund, you know, Murphy's Law says that something's gonna happen in your life where it's gonna require money. So if you have nothing saved and you're paying all this money towards your mortgage, all of a sudden you could be in a tough spot. Now you gotta put everything on the credit card again and you're starting the opposite way. So build that emergency fund. So we suggest you start with the smallest amount, work up towards your mortgage, but before you do that, build that emergency fund so that you're able to do that. Any questions on any of that or buying or selling a home, please contact our office, 507-258-5850. You can also visit our website at handyandyrealtor.com. Thanks for watching.